Morning guys, I'm Siobhan, a fourth year medical resident specializing in rheumatology. And today I'm excited to have you join me in a rheumatology clinic for the whole day. So most of the time in residency, you go into another doctor's office, you see some patients, and then you leave and you go to a different clinic. So you don't always get to follow up on the same patients when you're doing outpatient medicine. And that's kind of the best part is, you know, you give a diagnosis, you give a treatment, and you want to see how the patient does. So half a day a week for two years, this is my clinic space, my office, and this is considered my continuity clinic where I'm supervised by Dr. Pavlova as my attending physician but I basically have to learn how to run a clinic myself. So see the patients, follow up, communicate with other doctors. Um, it's a lot of fun, it's a lot of learning, and that's what we're doing this morning. And you're gonna see there's some serious female power here and so much energy. I, I just love it. Okay, come on. This is Dr. Pavlova. She's a general rheumatologist with a special interest in pregnancy and rheumatic diseases. Patients are always commenting on her colorful office and bright glasses and energetic personality. I'm so lucky to have her as a mentor. This is Anna, the medical office assistant, and Sophia, the clinical assistant. You know, after working here for almost a year, I have a whole new appreciation for the administrative work that goes on behind the scenes in an office like this. Let's hope this patient in three months from now mm -hmm. and we'll organize x-ray and ultrasound meanwhile. Sure. Okay. And yeah, yeah, just make sure he does blood work before his next appointment. Okay. Thank you. Okay, the first patient is here. Um, based on what the family doctor's note says, he's a middle-aged man who's coming in with multiple swollen joints and a high inflammatory markers in his blood work. So I couldn't find much else about him on the computer system, which tells me that he's probably been pretty healthy up to now, but we'll just have to see. All right, let's go get him. When I'm assessing a patient like this, the first question I'm asking is, is the pain coming from inside the joint capsule or outside the joint capsule? Which could be a lot of things, like a problem with the bone, muscle, tendon, ligament, bursa, or fascia. But if the pain is coming from inside the joint, then we have to figure out if it's an inflammatory cause, like an autoimmune disease, an infection, or a crystalline disease, or if it's a non-inflammatory cause like wear and tear osteoarthritis. In this case, I'm convinced this patient has an inflammatory arthritis because his pain is worse when he's at rest, it gets better when he starts moving, the markers of inflammation in his blood work are high, and when I examine him, his joints actually feel spongy rather than bony because of the inflammation. Are you ready to review? Perfect. Good time. Come on. Okay. So this is a, a new patient, mm -hmm. a 56 year old man with um, about a 10 week history of having multiple swollen joints. On my physical exam, I would say he's got 12 swollen joints. Um, we have minimal blood work, but we do see that he's got elevated inflammatory markers. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm really thinking this is either a new rheumatoid arthritis or psoriatic arthritis. And it's only 10 weeks. Any preceding infection? No, not that he's aware of, no. I mean, with COVID, he's been at home, he's been feeling well. And no travel, obviously, nowadays. Yeah, no. No sick contact, no. Okay, gastroenteritis. Good, shall we see him? Yeah, let's, let's, go, do it. let's go see what you think. Yeah, let's do it. Hi, sir. I'm Dr. Victoria Pavlova. Nice to meet you today. Thank you so much for giving us all details about your presentation that the shower summarized for me. So what I would like to do, if it's okay with you, just check on a couple of joints, and then we will talk about your diagnosis. The next step is to order x-rays and blood work to help us confirm the diagnosis and determine what type of inflammatory arthritis he has. But in the meantime, we know that inflammation like this can cause permanent damage to the joints, which is why it's important to start treatment right away. Whether this is a rheumatoid arthritis or psoriatic arthritis, we use prednisone to rapidly treat the inflammation in the short term and then we use a medication called methotrexate as a long-term medication to prevent the inflammation from returning. Although often we do need to add on some additional medications to get the inflammation completely under control. Nice, good pick up. I'm very impressed. <laughs> Clinical exam right on. Perfect, good job. Okay, my dear, uh, running out of time. Your next patient is ready. He just called in. Do you remember that patient you started on triple disease modified right. drugs? 
and he is here calling to report how he's feeling. Do you mind just to go and pick up the phone? Absolutely. Okay. Awesome. Thank, Thank you, you so much. I'll talk to you later. Then. Okay, perfect. This next patient has a similar story to our previous patient. He first presented to us with many swollen joints in his hands. And after our first appointment, I sent him for blood work. We identified two antibodies in his blood that are strongly associated with rheumatoid arthritis. So rheumatoid factor and anti-CCP. His hand x-rays also give us more information to confirm the diagnosis. See these areas where it looks like a chunk of bone is missing? This is classic for rheumatoid arthritis. The inflammation actually eats away at the bone. And the inflammation in rheumatoid arthritis doesn't just affect the joints. It can also affect other organs like the eyes, lungs, or the heart. So you can see that RA is very different from wear and tear osteoarthritis. It's caused by high levels of inflammation. It affects the whole body and we can treat it by suppressing the immune system. Okay, so let's get back to our patient. He's been on three medications to control his inflammation since our last appointment. So let's see how he's doing now. So how's our next patient? Oh, I'm so disappointed. So he's still having active disease. He's got seven swollen joints. Like he's tolerating the medications well, but I think we've got to move towards a biologic therapy just to get this inflammation under control. Yeah, how long he has been on this triple demo therapy? Three months Three now. Three months, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah. We gave it a chance, it doesn't work. Um, so he's on line two. Okay, let me open them. Hi, good afternoon. Hi, how are you doing? Biologics are genetically engineered proteins that target specific parts of the immune system to reduce inflammation. Most of these medications are given by injection and they're much more expensive than the first medications we tried. So the next patient has rheumatoid arthritis, um, but also just got pregnant. Um, and I love the field of rheumatology and pregnancy. It's so incredible to help young women who are suffering with a chronic illness be able to have a family. And so you're thinking about the disease, you're thinking about medications, the baby, it's really complex and I, I just love it. It's so satisfying. Um, so I know that this woman has been trying to get pregnant for a while now. And so I'm just so excited to give her a call, congratulate her and see how she's doing. Congratulations. How far along are you now? Have you noticed any swollen joints? Ah, darn. Remind me, do you, do you live close to us? Is it a far drive for you to come in? Okay, let's go chat with Dr. Pavlova. Hi, Dr. Right, Pavlova, yeah, you're ready? Yeah, I'm all ready. Okay, so I just saw um, the patient with rheumatoid arthritis and she's pregnant in second trimester now. Right, yeah. So she's doing really well from a pregnancy standpoint, but she has a swollen wrist. And I, I feel like we should actually bring her in, physically examine her, and maybe even do a joint injection. I agree with you. When do you think you can bring her in? Um, oh, I'm actually in clinic with you in two days. So if we can do it then, then I can actually meet her, see her. Perfect. Yeah? The best plan. Okay, that would be amazing. Good, let's do it. The rest of the day, I saw a mix of patients in person and over the phone. Some patients were pretty straightforward, while others were still a mystery. And we need to do a lot of investigations before we can come up with an answer. CBC, look at her kidney function, her liver function. Take a look at complement C3, C4, double-stranded DNA, and ANA, ENA, urinalysis. Mm -hmm. The last thing to do is documentation. So I need to finish up all my notes before I can finally head out for the day. Thank you for another awesome day. I learned so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Siobhan, so much for your help. I think we had good cases and yeah. such a variety. I totally agree. And I'm back in two days, so. Perfect, yeah. And we'll see that patient, right, with the wrist? Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. The pregnant one? Sounds awesome. Good. Love okay. it, love it, love it. Thank Even. you. Bye. So thank you so much for joining me for a day here in Dr. Pavlova's office. And I just really, really, really want to thank the entire team that is so supportive and amazing here. So if you want to see more videos like this about rheumatology, what it's like to be a doctor, then be sure to subscribe. And that way I'll see you in the next video. So bye for now.